MGTOW is going to be MGTOW in the wind. Now, I want to explain to you how illogical BLM and many people on the left are. Now, by saying, I mean, just in general, first things first, we're going to start with this recent thing. You have, you basically said in your, in your stance when a white person, but, but before that, you basically said BLM's about everybody. Really? Really? You, you, you basically said all these years ago, for all these years, BLM's about everybody, and it's not racist, right? But when a white person is getting their behind, we're getting getting brutalized, you literally walk away. Which it, it, it makes it clear to us day that you're the racist ones. I'm just calling, I'm just calling like what it is. founder about a multi-million maybe a billion dollar mansion off of your funds <laughs> oh boy this is interesting and then you want to go and say some nonsense about defund the police right do you have any idea what you're saying you are basically committing suicide do you know that even like even though there are some bad apples, that those few good apples are what's keeping the true psychopaths away at bay from really showing you some supreme pizza, some supremacy pizza? White Supreme, Supreme Pizza? Joe, give you a healthy dose of White Supreme Pizza? Do you have any idea how dumb you are sounding? See, this is, this is what this is what happens. This is what happens when you when you when you Brexit the father out of the home. Not Brexit, but uh, annex. Or, yeah, will you annex the father out of the home? Delete, control, alt, delete the father out of the home. Yeet the father out of the home. This is what happens. You get a, you get a repeat generation of single mothers that can't raise their god dang on kids. Repeat generation of single mothers who are teaching their daughters how to be proper garden tools. Proper garden tools. Uh, let, me, let me say that again. Get it. You, you, hell, you get a prayer. You get a repeat generation of repeated single mothers that basically raise their daughters up to be proper garden tools. That's what happens when you uh, eat the father out the home or air uh, annex the father out the home. And by all means, to the people at the top, it's finger looking good. Yeah. So, who's the real, who's the real, who's the real, who are the real rice patties? Who are the real rice patties? Who are the real rice patties? Tell me. That is, that is impressive. 
you know? It's amazing, you know, it's amazing. They say defund the police, okay? Then you got the National Guard, right? Defund the National Guard, then what? Legally, active duty soldiers cannot, cannot, active duty soldiers or branches of the military cannot legally police the public. But you want to defund the people who are keeping the real, the real rice patties away at bay. The real white supreme pizzas away. The ones that just want to make you a necktie. The, wanna, the ones that want to teach you how to climb a tree. Without your hands. The ones that'll help you get in shape with the, with the aid of their pickup truck. The ones that will give you a real deep tissue massage. With, with uh, sticks and uh, really hard, will give you a nice siatsu massage by, by lightly tapping sticks along your body and give you a nice cold stone relaxation massage. Occasionally they might use their hands, you know? Give you a nice foot massage too. The ones that have no problem with allowing their dogs to lick you. Oh, to, to, to lick you, to, to, to harshly lick you with their teeth. The ones that have no problem basically on a hot summer day a lot at uh, 35 34 degrees Fahrenheit giving you a nice cool shower give giving you a nice time to cool off regardless of the weather so you're gonna tell me that you want to defund the police yeah, yeah, there are bad apples. There are bad apples everywhere. <laughs> but guess what? Those, the, the, those, those few good ones are keeping the real, real cycles at bay. See, you're not just. It's, it's not a. See, basically, it's not about defunding the police. About police reform, no. You said it wasn't about. You said BL, You said BLM wasn't about. What was it? What was it about? What was it? Was it racist? But yet here you are walking away from 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 a from a, from a person who clearly got his behind whooped, who clearly got brutalized, didn't do anything, got brutalized, right? Okay. It's not about the funding police either, right? <laughs> right. It's a peaceful protest, but why are there fires burning? Why? Why? You know what I associate buildings on fire with? Arson. Freaking arson. Oh, it's not, it's not the black people, no, it is the people from... You allow it. You don't stand up against it. You allow it, and you don't stand up against it. Look at the autonomous zone in Seattle. The two. You know, I, you know what I think. I think we are falling right in the footsteps of 1920s Germany, 1920s, 1930s Germany. And I, you know, the only time a president can stay in power. 
If there's a declaration of war, that's the only time a leader in the United States of America can stay in power, is a declaration of war. Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to have a declaration of war. I served my eight years, <laughs> you know. Y'all, the rest of y'all are screwed. A declaration of war. You know what happens with a declaration of war? A president, an acting president, can remain acting president. Franklin Delano Roosevelt did. I mean, a few presidents have done that before. All he needs to, needs to do is start a war within four, within a four, within a three year span. You know. All he needs to do. All needs to happen. And once that happens, hey, what it is. We are now entering a time. Black people of BLM and everything, you're not safe. You're not safe. Because when it get when when, when, when <laughs> because guess who needs to be the cannon fodder? You guessed it. You. Yeah. They need cannon fodder. Everybody needs cannon fodder, right? Hey, what do I know? I'm just a delusional freaking MGTOW channel. I don't know nothing. It's obvious that one. But this is MGTOW in the Wind, signing off. This is MGTOW Channel, Guardsman, and a truck driver. <laughs> enjoy, enjoy these next 10 years, signing off. Oh, I'm sorry, enjoy the next 18 to 34 years signing off. <laughs>